My name's Sasha and I'm just going to talk a bit about my testimony on how I came to know God. Um, so I didn't grow up as a Christian, I grew up in a supposedly quite a normal family, loving family, but I never actually felt really fulfilled and happy in that family, although I was surrounded by loads of, um, loads of people that loved me, it was quite difficult to feel loved and to feel happy. So as I grew up, as I was getting older, I found that I, would tr I had the opportunity to go into different situations and try and find fulfillment in them. So like I would try chasing after guys, I would try drinking alcohol, I'd try um, smoking cannabis, um, just try binging on makeup and clothes. And the thing with sin is that it always takes you further than you planned on going. So as I um, continued to do these things trying to get fulfillment and I was happy for a, a, a small amount of time, it started to progress into different situations. So I ended up finding, well, after chasing these guys, I found a guy who I thought was um, an amazing person and actually turned out he was an abusive man and I ended up um, being sexually, mentally and physically abused for five and a half years. Um, I ended up extremely addicted to cannabis and um, trying recreational drugs and drinking and smoking more than I was eating so it got to the point where I didn't feel like I wanted to eat, I didn't feel very happy, I got more and more depressed and towards the end of my abusive relationship I ended up on a very high amount of antidepressants because I was just so down, um, I was still addicted to smoking and um, ended up severely anorexic. So it was just a really bad place that I was in where I didn't know my own self-worth anymore because I was made to believe that I wasn't worth anything. And so this left me in a very, very broken place. And I ended up, um, uh, the last time that my uh, uh, boyfriend at the time abused me, I was actually holding my son and it was just a bad situation to be in. I then left that situation um, but at this point again I was still very very broken and so three months later I was actually um, invited to a church service. I wasn't wanting to go to the church service because it was church, I was going just because my mum was there at the time and it was Mother's Day and I thought oh okay I'll go for her and then I'll go again and just carry on with my broken messed up life. And so I went along and again, I met this um, amazing woman. At the time I didn't know who she was, but she invited me for coffee. I went for a coffee with her the next day and um, she was talking to my mum who was also there and she was saying about Wednesday, the Wednesday service and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so that sounds interesting, but didn't think much of it. And then it got to Wednesday and it hit me that it reminded me that it was something that I could do and I was drawn to go back. And then I heard a, the service was about hurt people, hurt people. The preacher was preaching about hurt people, hurt people. And that really spoke to me and the Holy Spirit really come down on me and really moved me. And it got me to a place where I actually bent on my knees and I prayed to God to change my life. And I gave him that opportunity too. And I've never looked back. Three and a half years later, my life has completely changed. Like. I'm not bitter towards men anymore. I'm literally so happy because my, my son's really joyful. He's very happy. Um, I'm now married to a man who does know how to treat a, a woman and is a dad to my son who is actually willing to be there for him and actually wants to help bring him up and just care for both of us. Um, I'm not severely underweight anymore. I'm healthy. I'm uh, not smoking anymore. I'm not addicted to any sort of drugs an anymore. And yeah, everything that was going wrong in my life, all the broken, messed up things completely changed after I gave my life to Jesus. And ever since then, like, I've realized just how great life can actually be because the, the thing is, back then, I, when I was younger, I was trying to find fulfillment in all these different things and it was so messed up because the truth was the only thing I really needed fulfilling in my heart was having God in my life, that having that relationship with Jesus.